Let's take a look at division. Now, if you don't have access to a calculator, you are going to need a written method for division. And the most commonly used method is called the bus stop method. And this is how it works. The number you're dividing, which is usually, but not always, the bigger number, this is the number that goes inside the bus stop. So here's my 6936, and the bus stop is this uh, sort of curved line followed by a straight line. And we are going to write our answer above this line. Now, the number we're dividing by goes outside the bus stop. Now, all we need to do is 6 divided by 3, 9 divided by 3, 3 divided by 3, 6 divided by 3. And this one's really easy because every single number that I put um, inside the bus stop is um, in the three times table. There's a reason I chose this particular, particular number. 6 divided by 3, 2. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So that's the answer, 2, 3, 1, 2. Very easy. The next example, slightly different, but just because of the 0. 4088 goes inside the bus stop. 4 on the outside, that's what we're dividing by. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 0 divided by 4 is 0. So when there's a 0, if you're dividing 0 by anything, you're just going to put a 0 on the top there. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So that's the answer, 1022. So when you encounter a 0, don't leave it blank. Put in a 0. Let's try 6, 9, 4, 5 divided by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 4 divided by 3 is 1 with a remainder of 1. So I'm going to write 1 here and that remainder of 1 I'm going to park on the next number. So the 5 is now a 15. So now it's 15 divided by 3 which is 5 and that is our answer. So when there's a remainder like 4 divided by 3 is 1 with a remainder of 1 the remainder gets parked onto the next number along. Let's have a look at this next example 7, 4, 5, 2, 0 and we are dividing that by 5. 7 divided by 5, that is 1 with a remainder of 2, which gets parked on the next number. 24 divided by 5 is 4 with a remainder of 4, which gets parked on the next number. 4s into 45 is 9. And uh, there's, this is the reason why I've shown you this example. 2 divided by 5, is, remember this is not 5 divided by 2. 2 divided by 5, how many 5s go into 2? Well, they don't, so we're going to write a 0. So whenever the number inside the bus stop is less than the number outside the bus stop. You're going to write in a zero and this number just carries on, well, it carries forward and gets parked on the next number. So now it's 20 divided by 5, which is 4. There we go. So 14,904. 324 divided by 6. Here the first number can't be divided by 6 because 3 is less than 6. So it's a zero. Put the, th the remainder of 3 um, onto the next number, exactly the same as we did when we uh, put a zero above the two and put the two on the next number. Here we're putting a zero above the three and moving the three across onto the next number. Six is into 32, or well, 32 divided by six is five with a remainder of two. Six is into 24 is four, so the answer is simply 54 since the zero at the front there isn't doing anything. Now, um, let's look at division where there is going to be a remainder. So 537 cannot be divided by 2 because everything in the 2 times table is even and this is an odd number so we know it won't divide exactly but let's see what happens so 5 divided by 2 is 2 remainder 1 13 divided by 2 is 6 remainder 1 and 17 divided by 2 is 8 remainder 1 so normally in primary school you'd probably be writing 268 remainder 1, but you can do an exact answer. What we're going to do is first of all we're going to put in a decimal point and I'm going to put a zero um, after the decimal point inside the bus stop. Hopefully you appreciate that 537 is the same as 537.0, it's the same value. But by putting in this point zero, I now have a number where I can park that one. That remainder of one can go here. So Two's into 10, five. There we go. Let's have a look at the next example. So it's 88 divided by five. Eight divided by five is one remainder three. 38 divided by five is seven remainder three. Again, it looks like we've come to the end, but if I put in a decimal point and a zero and a decimal point up above, 
I can now put that remainder of 3 next to the 0 and 5's into 30 or 30 divided by 5 is 6 so the answer is 17.6. 45 divided by 4, 4 divided by 4 is 1, 5 divided by 4 is also 1 with a remainder of 1. So I'm going to put in the decimal point top and bottom, put in that 0 and now I can put that remainder of 1 onto a number. 4's into 10 goes twice with a remainder of 2 and again uh, I've I've run out of numbers but I can put in another zero and put the two there so uh, that was the remainder of two so fours into 20 go five times so 11.25 is the answer so we can keep adding zeros until we finally get all the division complete um, if you divide by something really random like the number seven you'll find that this process just goes on and on and on forever so the key thing when it doesn't divide exactly put in a decimal point and keep adding zeros until you can complete the division.